Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Ruxon, this is Daily Rambles. Today we are doing Marvel, and this is the first Marvel movie set in the MCU, and that's Iron Man, all the way back in 2008. Ten years ago. That's crazy. So, um, I wanted to do all the Marvel movies up until Black Panther, except for the ones already done. I'm going to leave those alone. I'm not going to redo this, obviously. So, we're going to do Iron Man, and the only one I can't do is, um, the Incredible Hulk movie, because I don't have access to that, so I won't be doing that. But anyway, so we're going to start off with um, this movie, so let's jump right into the notes and what I liked and disliked. And it's going to be a hot minute, so strap in and have fun. So I don't know what's happening. Anyway, so we start off with fun times um, in the desert for a weapons demonstration that Tony's doing, and they're heading back in the convoy, and then... They get hit, and then someone kidnaps Tony with his own technology, and he gets hit. And then there's a ransom video, and then we cut to 36 hours earlier. Where Tony is a literal hot mess, like drunk and crazy and all that jazz, at a gala. And then, um, then he shows up late and missed it, and then gets the award to a fake Caesar and then reporter talks to him, and then he invites the reporter over for a sleepover. So in the morning, we get introduced to Pepper Potts, walks into his house, and calls Tony, um, to, well, to, calls a ride for Tony's reporter to escort out. And then, then talks to him about company stuff. And then they race off to the airport because they're late. And then we have Rhodes intro, could, uh, no. Then we have a Rose intro, and then him and Tony Bicker on the private jet. Then they have the weapons demonstration, and then go back to the present day where he has surgery done to him, and he's literally freaking out about it. He's literally waking up and like spazzing out about it. And um, turns out um, the guy saved his life, and the guy's name is Jensen. And so, um, then the bad guy wants him to build a missile, and he says no, so they torture him for a, a while. And then, um, they show him all of his tech that they have, and so he begins to start. Then he'll be free. That's the deal they're doing. So, he does the missile, but they're also, um, and the bad guys are also supervising him through cameras. And then um, they have a work montage, and they're also creating an Iron Man suit on the side. And then Jensen and Tony talk a, a bit, and then the bad guy checks in, and then the head honcho bad guy comes in as well and checks out the place. Then he almost kills Jensen, but they don't do it because Tony said it's a two-person job and needs him there to help him out. And then um, they finish the suit, and then they rid the door for it to explode. Then they start a um, sequence of starting up the suit. And then Jensen sacrifices himself, and Larry goes out and starts with the weapons and starts taking out people. And then start um, attacks the bad guys. And then um, he finds Jensen, and Jensen dies. And turns out. What about your family? Because earlier when they were talking, there was something about family and stuff. And he was like, I'll see my family again soon. And it turns out his family is not on their dead. So he, in fact, is going to go see them again now. The start goes crazy on everybody. Then it sets literally everything on fire and destroys all of his tech. And then he flies away. Just for a little bit, though, because he does crash land. And then he gets rescued by the army. Then he goes back home. And first thing he says off the plane is like, I want cheeseburger now. And then the press conference. They have Phil Colson intro that wants to talk to him. He's like, we'll just schedule it later. We'll just worry about it later. And then uh, you have the press conference time. And usually he likes to be behind the, stadium, the podium as I feel like. But... He literally was in front and was like, can we just sit down? I've had a long ordeal. <laughs> so he literally um, eats a cheeseburger and says, like, um, I'm shutting down the weapons division. <laughs> and so he's shutting down the manufacturing and wants to do good. 
and then um, uh, then I was I cannot say his last name. I've tried another video. This is literally my third take. Uh, I just want to say Abadiah, and I was just gonna keep it there. So Abadiah, um, which is like um, Tony's right hand ish. He's like I think like third in line or something. Talks to Tony and shows him and in the clean um, energy division of this huge reactor. And Tony's like, what if we could do a small one? Then shows him the tiny one in his chest. Then Stark needs Pepper's help. This is later on at his house where he's doing surgery on himself. And he needs Pepper to literally take the old reactor out so he can put the new one in. Okay. And at first she's like, I no, you're crazy. But she does do it. And then Tony visits uh, Rhodes. Then um, Tony starts um, a new suit. And then the bad guy um, finds the old suit parts. Then Tony um, starts testing just on the feet and like the hands and stuff to try to do some aerial stuff. And it starts off really bad. He's really crashing everywhere. <laughs> if you have the that tiny robot that's spraying with the um, fire extinguisher, which is so funny to me. And then Abadiah, this is Tony, and the board wants to boot him and kick him out of the company, and he just kind of brushes off and goes back downstairs with his work. And then the tests get better, and then he develops his kick-ass suit. And then he's literally flying the suit around without any, like, test or anything. And it's, yeah, it's like, that's not a good idea. He's like, I don't care, just do it. So he's flying around, and then um, he can't go up super high because he starts to freeze and everything. So he is literally free-falling to the earth. But he managed to break out of it and to recover just in time. And then lands on his car with that little robot with the fire extinguisher. Which was so funny. And then uh, Pepper uh, gives him an old reactor as a gift. Like like a, kind of like a boss day thingy. And so I thought that was kind of sentimental and kind of sweet. I really liked that a lot. And then the bad guys are redoing the suit. And then we cut to where Tony did not get an invite to his own fundraiser. He's like, screw it. I'm going anyway. So then he um, runs into Stanley, which he remembers. Um, Confuses with the uh, Playboy Mansion guy. I cannot remember his name right now, and I feel really bad about it. <laughs> but um, then Phil shows up at the party at the fundraiser too and talks to Tony, and then um, he's like, "Okay, we'll just schedule a meeting." And then um, they go on. Then Tony and Pepper dance, and he kind of flirts a little bit, and then she gets kind of uncomfortable and kind of leaves. The reporter um, that he had fun with earlier. Gives him info on a village and he gets kind of pissed off about it. And so, um, Monger Obadiah uh, orchestrated everything. So, Obadiah literally orchestrated everything. And then, um, Tony gets pissed about um, him not being invited to the fundraiser because it was about the fundraiser part, about everything so far. And then uh, Tony gets pissed, and then Tony suits up and goes to the village. Oh, and he was also selling to other people and stuff without his knowledge. Yeah. So he gets um, pissed off, and he goes to the village and beats everyone up, all uh, the bad guys up, and then goes to another village. And then um, the Air Force gets involved, and because they're pissed off because it wasn't any one of them, and they don't know who it is. So they um, track him, and then Rose calls Tony, and he's just kind of playing. I was like, oh, I had the windows down on my convertible and driving around LA, you know, you know how we do. <laughs> you know, kind of stupid kind of thing. And so it's on the Air Force versus Iron Man, and Iron Man is like, since it's just him, it's not bulky as a fighter jet, he's maneuvering very well. So um, he actually gets underneath the jet and so the other guy in the jet solid, so he literally shoots the other jet out of the sky. And the other guy was able to eject, but he couldn't pull the cord, so Iron Man helps him out and pulls the cord. And then he finally calls Rhodes back. He's like, okay, it's me, it's me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me, just make up a training exercise, just make something up. And that's what he does. Then Pepper 
freaks out at start about everything that she learned because she learned everything. And then um, he makes an excuse. Uh, sorry, jumped up and not the hell. <laughs> and then uh, Abadiah meets the bad guy and he hurts the bad guy very much. So he wants the Iron Man prototype, and then Tony wants Pepper to go to Stark Industries to find the shipping manifest. She kind of is still reeling from all the information, and she quits. Then she reconsiders and decides to go to the office and found the ghost drive. And she sees the ransom video, and then she copies the ghost drive file. And then Abadiah uh, comes in and talks to her, and says so she manages to keep going and to download the file, then takes the drive and hides it and leaves. But he did see it after she exited the office. So the scientists can't do the mini reactor. So Abadiah uh, goes to Tony's and literally um, shocks him and put this device near him that um, freezes him up. I think that's uh, a process to the um, the top that the stuff of the night night gun for agents of shield the icers on uh, dendrotoxin i want to say anyway so he takes tony's reactor and then uh tony manages to get to the lab and gets the old one that uh pepper sent him and then uh then Rhodes uh checks on checks in on tony then pepper and shield go to the section because um as she was leaving the office she runs into Phil and so she's like, let's walk and talk, walk and talk, and they get out. So, um, anyway, so Pepper and him go to, um, and yeah, they go to section um, 16, and then um, Shield blows open the lock. Then Tony gears up and leaves, and then Abadiah goes after them. And then it's Iron Man versus Abadiah, and then Rose blocks. Um, Sorry, that was my dog. <laughs> then uh, they fly up, and then Abadiah uh, faced the ice and <laughs> faces the icing problem, which he didn't solve. So basically, uh, he made his own suit, and it's, an, and it's him versus Iron Man. And then Tony tells Pepper to overload the big reactor, and so she does it. And then Abadiah goes boom, and then Tony is still alive. Then Phil uh, Coulson gives him an alibi, but at the press conference, he says he's Iron Man, and that's in the movie. Oh my god, this is literally, wait, my third take, okay? It's, <laughs> this was a labor of love right here. But I really enjoyed the movie, I really liked it, I give this an A-plus movie, it was great. I love everyone's interactions, and um, it was just a really good movie, and I feel like, it set the president for the MCU and how it was developed and everything. So, really awesome movie. I really enjoyed it. And I love how it had a mix of comedy and action and fantasy and just all the stuff happening. So, I really enjoyed it a lot. So, that's going to do it for this video. If you like this video, please give it a like. Comment down below on what you liked about the movie. And then subscribe for more stuff. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, everybody.